Here we have a system of equations, but notice that they're not asking us to find the point of intersection. They're just asking us for the number of intersections, the number of um, solutions for this system. So uh, we could graph it, but really what we are supposed to do in these situations is just know how to like read the equations and understand like why there would be a certain number of solutions. Now these are two linear equations, so this is really easy for us. Most of the time when we have two lines, we're gonna have exactly one. Uh, cis, uh, intersection, but that's not happening here because of the twos. The twos are the slope, and when the slope is the same, the lines are parallel, which means that they travel in the same direction, and if they go in the same direction, they can't ever cross because it's not like the lines curve, right? They can't bend toward each other. They're always traveling parallel or always moving in the same direction, so they're going to have no solutions, which means choice A, zero solutions. This is something that I'd be able to get in a split second because these are just written in Y equals MX plus B format. They, um, I know that when they're asking about lines and the number of solutions, I'm really just looking for two things. Are the slopes the same? And are the Y intercepts the same? If the slopes are the same, I already know it's not gonna be something like B because it's gonna have this weird situation. If the y-intercepts are also the same, then that's going to be choice D because then they are the exact same line, meaning they overlap at every single point, so they have infinitely many intersections. That's not happening because the 10 and the negative one are obviously different numbers, so that's not gonna work here. And then choice C makes zero sense. That's not ever possible with lines because again, lines don't curve, so they can never intersect any more than one time unless it's infinitely many. If you were unsure about this, it's very easy to graph. Just graph these two things and we can kind of see it, right? Here's the two, here are the two. And you can see they're parallel. They're moving in the same direction. Now, in theory, it's possible that they curve very, very slightly or they, I should say, shouldn't say curve, that the, the slopes are slightly different enough that they do intersect at some point, like, you know, far away from where I'm zoomed. But you know, if you need to just kind of guess based on this, then I would still say they're parallel. Um, and certainly then with confirmation from the, the uh, equations themselves, we should know very confidently that choice A is the answer. The SAT really likes this kind of topic, asking about linear systems and the number of solutions. So make sure you're comfortable with all these different ideas because they will come up on your test.